Hi guys, um, been a little while, but we've been very, very busy, as I'm sure a lot of you are aware. You probably would have seen this fucking ugly mug all over the internet for the, and over Instagram uh, <laughs> since Sunday. So this is gonna be our Pro Raw recap. Um, mostly talking about Dylan, because my Pro Raw is a bit fucking average. <laughs> um, Some interesting like, injuries. Yeah, fuck. Um, so I guess quickly going through my stuff so we can get off onto the stuff that matters. Um, so the tear in my Sartorius was shit. Um, I re-tore it two days before the competition, which sucked. Um, I ended up having to squat like 80 kilos token squat. To be fair, um, the 80 kilo squat was completely raw. Yes, no belt, no sleeves, no wraps. Walked out. Walked out. It's buried. Yeah. It, so, I mean... There, there's yeah. at least 380 there. That's really what, it, what, I mean, what we're know, saying. Yeah. Where credit's due, you got to pay it. Yeah, exactly. So at least 380. <laughs> Um, uh, the only lift of the whole weekend that I really pushed was bench. Um, push a 202.5 kilo bench, which is only two and a half kilos below my PB, which I hit when I was a whole lot heavier. So I'm pretty happy with that. It was also probably one of the technically best benches I've ever done. Mm. Um, really in line, really solid. We'll show you a clip of that now. <laughs> and, and, um, yeah, so moving on from there, I went and kind of pulled a token 270 uh, deadlift as well. Obviously, this, the tear of my story doesn't affect my pull as much. But you still, still so, felt it a little bit. Yeah, I still felt it on the 270, so I was kind of like, let's not fuck with this. Um, so I got that. Um, been taking most of the week off and kind of getting ready to get back into training properly uh, next week, which will be... Um, Obviously, very little squatting still. Be kind of taking it light with deads. Uh, a lot of nice, solid upper body stuff. A bit of rehab here. A bit of rehab. Yep, yeah, get it moving. And that kind of sums up me. So getting <laughs> on to the man of the the hour, the man of the, week, the yeah. day, the man of the week, the man of the month. Yeah. Um, hopefully the man of the year. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. My man of the year. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, Dylan. You kind of squatted something. Yeah, I kind of squatted something up. and then I benched something and then I did lifted some more. But um, yeah, that, that was a pretty good start to the weekend, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Oh, finish the week, I should say, because it was on a Sunday. Yeah. But squatting 455 for 1,003 pounds mm -hmm. it has a very nice ring to it. Yep. So I was like, oh, I should give it a crack. And I did, and I got it. Oi, oi! Oi! Yep, equals uh, equal second equal second heaviest squat in the country by five kilos. By five kilos well. to uh, Mr. Odell Manuel and Which came the Gwen matched as well. Yep, Gwen Gwen matched that as well. So you and Gwen became the fifteenth and sixteenth people to squat a thousand pounds. That's it's a pretty epic list, to be fair. Yeah, man. Like, that's a fucking... Yeah. That's not, not a long list when you're talking about the thousands and thousands and thousands of people in the sport. Yeah. So, awesome. And there was kind of a... I guess there was someone there who, like... Some dude, like, came up and, like, shook your hand or something. There's a bit of an influence there, to be honest, as well. A bit of a random... Like, I yeah, don't know, just some like, old bloke came up and was like, I love... <laughs> thousand pounds. <laughs> Must be heavy. <laughs> Oh, I don't know who, if you, if you go, if you know who he is, please tag him. <laughs> um, I'm sure. It was really weird. <laughs> now, nah, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger was there, which is pretty rad. Sch Schwarzel Organegger? Yeah. 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 Schwarzel cough syrup? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Arnold, Arnold was there and he kind of made a big deal about what happened and shit. Yeah. Well, Arnold's, Arnold's been a hero of mine ever since I could fucking talk. 
and the fact that he would he rocked up for my squat, like just as about to get on the bus, saw him walk on over, think to myself, oh, don't you fucking fail. <laughs> and, like, you better fucking get it, man. And like, as soon as I unracked it, I was like, oh, okay, I got this. It, yeah. it genuinely felt good. Like, after my first squat, which um, moved fine, but because of the nerves and shit, I was shaking real bad. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, should I go to 440 next? Or was 435? I was like, nah, fuck it, 440. We're here, to, we're yeah. here for something big. Yeah. And so the 440 flew up as well, and the, then the thousand pounds, and that fell. And I was just, it was funny because I was actually uh, making a, having a little bit of a joke with um, with some people. I think Dylan was actually there for some of it as well, and we had a joke with uh, Thomas Lilly, um, Dylan's Dylan's coach, about how like okay the the, the opener 420 was about RPE eight, so the 440 was going to be about a seven. <laughs> and the the thousand pounds would be about a five and a half six, which it was, which is pretty much what happened. Like. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, um, and like the funny thing, the okay, I think the best part about that whole my whole squat setup was um, Joel's raps. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I've eight revol- eight revolutions. We we got seven. We, I reckon we okay. can get eight. But seven revolutions on a fucking fire the size of a tree, <laughs> and with about this much tail hanging off. So. To, that's just impressive by itself but the best part about that is someone oh, not man. naming names pop the finger out doing that yeah. <laughs> I, I managed to dislocate my uh, middle finger this one <laughs> this one I dislocated this one yeah. um, it's still feeling a bit fucked I can't close it properly that's about as far as it goes you can see all that swelling yeah. in there as that's opposed good. to something like that yeah um, <laughs> funnily enough so it literally yeah it twisted out as I pulled the wrap through um, Dylan heard it pop, which was a bit fucking I thought gross. it was the wraps, so I <laughs> didn't think anything of it, and you're like, oh, my finger hurts. I'm like... And he stood up and fucking popped it back in. <laughs> I'm glad it was the last wrap, because that oh, sucked. Man. Yeah, there was no way anything was happening after that, so... Yeah, man. Um, I mean, of all wraps to do it on, that was definitely yeah. the one. <laughs> it was a little bit funny later on in the day, because I was kind of walking around, like, oh, it's not that bad, it's not that bad, and somebody was like, maybe you should get that the physio dude over there to take a look at it. I was like, oh, fair enough. Went over there, he kind of had a feel around on it, like massage a bit. He was like, man, that's actually really bad. You should probably tape that up. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I, yeah, had my um, middle finger and index finger taped together for most of the weekend. And yeah, that sucked. That but, fantastic. Um, but it's okay because it didn't affect my lift outs for Dylan's bench. Which which bench actually was like the surprise for me. Yeah. I mean, I, I, to be fair, I think people were expecting the 1,000 pound uh, squat. Yeah. Um, I thought it was as well, like, because I, I, you know, with all yeah. the encouragement and stuff like that, I, you know, I'd mentally already done it. Mm. Um, not to sound like an idiot or anything like that, but, it, you know, it was, yeah, confident in doing it. Mm. But my bench, my bench has always been a uh, play on, play on my mind. Um, but the fact that we went in there and hit a 10 kilo comp PB yeah, was man. just oh, icing Huge. on the cake. Because, uh, yeah, opened at 220, which moved like an RPE zero. <laughs> um, then we're like, okay, let's go for a comp PB with 235. And that moved like RPE one and a half. <laughs> and then we're like, okay, you've got a third lift. Let's do 240, be a little bit conservative. Yeah. And yeah, that was about an RPE two. Yeah. Fucking and... flew up. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Still on Hell Regal, 240 kilos, third and 10 kilos. Come on, mate. And like you look at the video, which you'll see, um, probably now, not, <laughs> which we probably had a bit more in there. Yeah. Um, but you know, no need to push push it. Mm-hmm. And um, so happy, really happy to walk around with that. That's probably honestly that was probably one of the favorite my favorite lifts. Yeah. And you know, like that, just moving that as easy as it did was awesome. Yeah. And then we moved on to the deadlifts. Oh, which I feel like took a year off my life. I was so stressed for it. <laughs> like, it's like, Jesus Christ, man. Make it. Please make yeah. it. Oh. Well, I opened with uh, 385, just, and that sealed the win by a fair bit. Well, you sealed the win with making your openers. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. It was 10 kilos. But to actually, get, actually get that, that lift on the board, though. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty cool. And yeah, so to, to get the 385 up, move... It's like like a warm up should because yeah. it really was a warm up for what we're really really there for. Yeah, 
and then we're all like, yep, 410 is the second one, so 903 pounds. Mm -hmm. And yeah. God, that and was that was Everyone mental. was there watching, and except for Arnold, the jerk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just um, the important part. Yeah. To, Fuck and, Arnie. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone was watching and cheering me on and it was the best feeling and yeah so when I walked up the bar yeah I felt like a million bucks so grabbed it ripped it pulled it got it up and it was fucking good yeah three white lights and that makes Fuck. two comps now without a red Hello Regal the Wonder Kid the junior from West Australia come and make history the bar is loaded Never been done in powerlifting history. 900 pound deadlift, following a thousand pound squat. Yep, no no red lights, and no missed lifts for that's two meets. Pretty good. Can't argue so, with that. that and, is, and then to yeah. total eleven oh five kilograms. Was junior. Junior total <laughs> beating uh, Eric Lillibridge's um, junior all time world record by like thirty seven and a half kilos. Mm -hmm. So fucking mangling that. <laughs> um, man, that's so yeah, first junior to total over 1100 first person ever to go a thousand pounds 900 pounds squat deadlift for the same thing yeah so i think all the records that i've got there like almost the competing is not about the records it's about going from the win kind of matters i mean like it, it's, it's fucking awesome yeah. yeah but like at the end of the day you want to beat your opponent and yeah. that's what gives you the gold but if you're gonna get records, why not get a few? Which is what I did. Yeah. <laughs> so I walked away with the first person in powerlifting history, raw powerlifting history, I should say, yeah. to go a thousand pound squat, nine hundred pound deadlift in the same meet. Mm -hmm. uh, they took the junior all-time world record total. Mm -hmm. First junior total eleven hundred. Uh, the Australian deadlift record with mm -hmm. four ten. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think, I think that's it. Has, has, have there been other juniors to squat a thousand pounds? Oh yeah, sorry, the biggest squat ever by a junior. Yeah. Because the biggest of that was four thirty five, which I'd equaled of Eric at Big Dogs three. There you so, go. You know, got a PB in itself, and you know, have the biggest squat by a junior. So fucking not bad. It was a good, I th I'd say it was a pretty good meet. Like I yep. came out pretty good. Mm -hmm. No injuries, feeling fresh. Yeah. But I'm gonna take the next week off as well, just mm -hmm. to. Let it chill. Mind chill. Make sure it's hundred percent. Yeah. Like, there's, we've all been there. And been like, oh no, I feel okay, and it was not okay. <laughs> and then pop. And pop. Yeah. However, I'm getting straight back into training because I barely fucking lifted. <laughs> so, my my next training block starts Monday, so that'll be fun. And your next one will be starting the week after. Yeah, yeah, about that. I mean, I might come to the gym this week and just move. fluff around really and just move. Yeah, but properly back into it for um, getting ready for the next meet which uh, hopefully um, we set something even bigger yep we're not going to make that call out right now but no. honestly just, just bigger yeah it's going to be big stay tuned we'll talk about it then um, when we're a bit closer and yeah we'll, we'll call some people out <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's pretty much pro raw for as is. Um, we've got another video coming out this week that you should see. Me and Dylan are going to have some fun uh, becoming fat cunts. Um, fat cunt being the technical term. I should probably stop saying that word because we might get censored. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're, we're going to try and gain some weight because um, yeah. we're both too skinny. You're totally skinny like 160. I'm, I'm going to so. become a super, super heavyweight. Yeah. <laughs> and just kind of I'm going to try and not be a little bitch um, just be a heavier bitch <laughs> heavier bitch um, god yeah but um 
it was an awesome meet like props to everyone who showed up and moved some phenomenal weight. lifting from yeah. even from the 60 kilo girls all the way through the, yeah every, like, every weight class had something to offer and it was yeah. epic. like shout out to steffi cohen killing it in the 60s keita for f smashing it winning in 75s like that was that I'm not gonna say it came out of nowhere, but I don't think anyone popped it for the win, so that's and, a huge um, deal. Brianna Williams as well, yeah. another athlete under Thomas Lilly. Yeah, she won the won her class and took the Australian deadlift record for women. There you go, that's so, fucking mental as well. Yeah. Like the men's was crazy as well. There was we had a ten times total in the eighties by, by those grills, which is ten times body weight time. That's well, he weighed seventy six, didn't he? No, that was Critter. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Still. Critter weighed 76. Oh, um, fuck, he second anyway. Okay, so he went 10 times as well. Um, yeah. You had an absolute monster battle between um, Pat Morrison and Matt Stenzel in the 95s coming down to the last pull. God, like the 110s was crazy as well coming down to the last pull between Sebastian Oreb and Will Crozier. Like, it's just... And Will just... Just bringing that out of nowhere, yeah, sort of man. thing. Fucking eight After night. A bad start. Yeah, very bad start. Pulling out a fucking three eighty-seven and a half kilo pull, absolutely killing it. Uh, fucking like Edward Kanjan totalling nine ninety in the one uh, one twenty fives, weighing like one fifteen. Like with a four or five kilo squat. Yeah, which is epic. Yeah, it just the list keeps going. So like. Go take a look. You can you can Google uh, Pro Raw Eleven. You can find the live streams and rewatch them. The lifting is insane. Highly recommend it. And hopefully we'll be starting to push these videos out a bit more frequently now that we're kind of through that hard point of competing. And have time. And have time. Time. Now I have time. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see you all, you guys, soon.